so um some of you greens thought I was joking we don't joke around here when I said I was gonna do all of them we don't joke look into the window for my soul In a previous video, when I reviewed all of Mariah Elizabeth's merch, I asked you if you wanted me to make the ultimate eraser using 10 of her very own eraser clay kit. And so I gave you grains the challenge to get my video to 20,000 likes, but holy carp, I should have asked for more because um, you exceeded my expectations. We reached our goal within like 24 hours and then exceeded it up until now. So thank you for that. I can see you are a person of taste. You like to see me suffer for your own entertainment. <laughs> But to be more precise, I do have 11 because I did order one of them separately and then all 10 at the same time. And for those of you who don't remember the Mariah Elizabeth review, this eraser clay definitely surprised me because it is really hard to do eraser clay. Usually it's either super crumbly or really hard, but this one is just melty and moldable and very smooth. So Mariah Elizabeth, you done good. I'm touched. If you're interested in seeing the full review video, I will link that down below. I tried a little bit of everything, including the eraser clay. I also tried the sketchbook, also the journal. There were so many fun things in this video that I'm sure you're gonna have fun watching it if, if you decide. But for now, I absolutely want to make the biggest eraser that I can using every single clay in this whole set. So what am I doing to myself? Why did I do this? Why are you doing this? Because I wouldn't have done it if it weren't for the pure pressure that I put on you to put on me. So... Blaming myself. <laughs> but wait, before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. If you're at home and bored, and you have a phone, what do you do? Boom! You play Raid. What if you're in the boat in the middle of the ocean, and you have enough food, but just the phone to keep you entertained? Boom! Braid again. And conveniently, you'll find the link down below. In all seriousness, for those of you who don't know Raid Shadow Legends, it is an epic fantasy taking place in the world of Teleria. And every great game has its challenges, especially near the end. And for Raid, that is Doom Tower. And what a heck of a ride it is. Basically, Doom Tower is like a huge prison. A long time ago, not long after the Arbiter was created, she fought off so many creatures created by Syrah. But since she wasn't a god, killing them was out of the picture. So instead, she built this tower, put a lot of monsters, and a quote, eldritch power. Which on the spectrum of bad stuff, that's pretty intense. And the whole prison thing worked out pretty well. But now that Syrath is leaking back into the world, Doom Tower isn't holding it together like it used to. Fortunately, the Arbiter sends people like you and me to go inside and crack a couple of heads. I don't know about you greens, but I'm not waiting for Doom Tower to fail. So every month, I try to make my way up to try and take out as many enemies as possible. And that's not all. The new things happening in Raid this month are special events and activities centered around Halloween. We're talking big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragment events to collect and get new champions, including a spooky Halloween champion. So Raid's been busier and better than ever, and there are always updates coming up every month. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below if you want to get a huge head start on Raid, or you can also scan my QR code, and you'll get an epic hero Chanaru, who's great for Doom Tower, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard. That way you can summon a champion right away. And all this treasure will be waiting for you right here, but only for the next 30 days. Thank you Raid for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, we do all sorts of weird wacky things on here. And if you click on all notifications, you automatically become a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Oh, and if any of you are wondering why I'm wearing a sweater, which is very odd, it's because it's finally cold on my side of Canada. So Pat let me his sweater. Very nice guy. I very much appreciate him. So first things first is we're just gonna move everything. There. Let's go ahead and open a fresh kit just in case some of you are new here and you haven't seen the previous video. Let's open it. And here is our beauty and our entire. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of my trusty knife. Sharp pointy thing because y'all like it when I wave it at you. I see those of you waving it back. I'm not scared. I'm not. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So basically, we have all these eight colors to work with. Thank you. 
Sure, take your time, Jackie. We got all the time in the world. So we have orange, red, yellow, and a kind of mustardy greenish yellow. Blue, green, black, and white. So our first task is going to be opening every single box and, um... Organize them so we can have an idea of what we're battling here. We do also get three absolutely adorable pencils in a rainbow pattern, polka dot, and of course the classic pineapple Georgie. And let's not forget, we do get a set of three tools. Voila. Room is gonna be a mess. Okay, all right, all right then. So here we have 80 blocks of clay. And of course, the other eight that I basically unboxed in the previous video. It's almost like this entire video is mostly going to be spent on prep because now we gotta do this. <clears throat> I have to do this over 80 times. Send help. And so basically, here we go. This took 10 minutes at two people, which means it would have taken 20 minutes just to remove the wrappers. Not fun. So Pat decided to join me, and I'm very grateful for that. Here's our interaction. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh, no. And so here are the colors organized. I feel much better seeing them this way. But now the question is, what do we want to make? I feel like I probably want to make an armature just so that it becomes even bigger because we want to make the ultimate eraser. Not just some puny eraser. We ain't about that. We about the big stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Let me know in the comment section below if you would have preferred that I make a tinfoil base and then a bigger figure or just pure eraser clay clay and by the way for all of these extra pencils that I have I don't want to keep them all so I will be donating them to the nearest elementary school so now what do we do I feel like I'm going to be using an aluminum base simply because we might not even have enough of the eraser clay to make a full-sized pickle eraser yes I want to do a pickle eraser for those of you who don't know pickle he's basically Mariah Elizabeth's mascot I feel like if we're gonna go big we might as well make it relevant is it going to work? I don't know. We're gonna have to do some color testing, but basically I want to make sure that the eraser is so big that not only is it going to erase pencil markings, but also past mistakes that I did in my life. That's how powerful I want this eraser. <laughs> oh boy. So, let's just, just, let's bring this up. And we need to color match pickles. So, the question is, will we get a pickle color with green and white? These two here. Or will we need to mix these three colors to get a proper pickle color? Proper pickle color. Oh, try to say that five times fast. Proper pickle color. Pop, pop, pop. Whoa. Let's try that again. Proper pickle color. Proper pickle. Ooh. <laughs> I stop at one. <laughs> you try it. So if we do a quick study of pickle, we can see that this green here is basically this green. A little darker, but I think we can get away with this. So we want to preserve as many of these greens as possible. So I'm thinking maybe three, four, five. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and preserve this green. And let's go ahead and mix this yellow with the blue and a white and see what we get. And since I don't want to waste them, we're just gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. Go ahead and mix these, and for you, it's magic. Poof. Oh my god, that is a really pretty green. It has this tint of yellow, which should be very similar to pickle. So here's pickle again. We are getting really close. I think we need a little bit of white, perhaps maybe less than that. Let's do this here. I'm gonna go mix it. And I have to say that I am pretty happy with this color. Now what I'm curious about is this kind of greenish yellow. Can we do something with it? Because it seems fairly close to that one. So if I can use a little bit of blue and just get that one, technically that would be better. Because then that means we can save the yellow and attempt a giant Georgie. 
So I went ahead and took a little bit of that greenish yellow, mix it with a little blue. So despite the fact that this green looks pretty good, here is pickle once more. And you can see the initial color that we got was pretty close. I would say we can get away with it. But the second one that we made is, yep, does not work. It is way more minty rather than yellowy. So we're gonna go with this mixture. Oh, there's a lot of mixing to do, isn't there? So here we go, basically making the mixture. First I had to roll it up and then I had to roll it into the pasta machine because that's how we have to be extra. And as you can see, the color does change in real time. And now that we have all our pieces ready, well, at least I hope so, I think we're about ready to go ahead and make the base. So, wanna say but Jackie that's not a full eraser if you're putting aluminum foil I know it is a full eraser but I don't want to waste erasers within erasers so this is gonna be the core it's like a surprise maybe I should put a surprise in there it's like a surprise like a kinder egg or a gacha it's the center that everyone wants my biggest worry is because clay does tend to crack the thicker it is, I have no idea how thick we can actually layer eraser clay. So that's why I'm kind of testing it out to see how many different layers we could do, if it's going to crack or not. Yes, I chose to use the inner core as the greenish yellow because I have no idea what to do with this. All right, so here it is. And holy carp, this is heavy. <laughs> I think like I can just knock myself. Let's try knocking myself up with it. So in order to avoid as many problems as possible, I'm going to give this a short pre-bake, maybe about 10 minutes, and then let's go ahead and build the layers. A few minutes later. So now that it's out of the oven, I'm going to go ahead and make the layers. It really reminds me of these candies called Jawbreakers. It's basically that candy that has multiple layers on the inside with different colors, and you reach it by like, you, you can't break them, you gotta suck it. <laughs> I don't make the rules about the candies. It's just how they be, okay? Story time! When I was a little grain, my brother and I did not like the fact that we had to, like, suck the candy for long periods of time. So what we would do is we would actually step on it on the sidewalk and then eat the pieces off the sidewalk. Would probably explain why I have so many health issues now. But you know what? I'm built different. <laughs> So each layer is going to get its own bit of attention until we can build up the actual shape. And only then may we use this one. Hi, Splinter. <laughs> what are you doing here? Come here. Grains, you don't see Splinter often enough, but here he is. Snuck into my room with no permission. And he has nothing to say about it. All right, Splinter, I'm going to evict you and continue going. By the way, yes, this black clay did leave some marks and it was really hard to get rid of. And because we want the head to actually hold on to something, and I don't know if I want to trust the clay alone, normally in a sculpture I would put a stick or some kind of wire. We're gonna make a hole and put a sausage piece of the eraser clay right in there so the head has something to hold on to. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And so as I'm blocking the shapes, we definitely need to get the head in because I, I just don't want it to fall off so that's why we have that little nib. Speaking of nibs, we need those limbs to get in there so I'm just smushing it right where they need to be. Again, this is like, this is, I'm, I'm excited but also tired because my hands hurt so much from making all these little balls of clay, flattening them out. Oh my god, my poor hands. The following day. So here we are, day three, and even in a past video, some of you have been asking me where my burb was, right? Uh huh. And I said that I wouldn't force him to be on camera, and especially this comment definitely sent me. I couldn't stop laughing. And lo uh -huh. and behold, today, he absolutely wanted to be on camera, right? <laughs> Don't do it. There's no running if you hit me. Oh, that's a hit and there's no run because there's no back of the chair for you to run to. I get a bonus point, right? Uh-huh. Of course I do. Don't do it. For those of you who don't know, this is my rescue burb, Angel, and he is 18? 18 now? Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Oh, are you inspecting me? Uh-huh. Oh, do I pass the inspection? Oh, okay. I'm glad I do. <laughs> 
You want to sing for them? No, you're a little scared still. Do you want to go back? Uh huh. Yeah, let me bring them back. So what I was trying to say is that what nobody says is that flattening, conditioning, and then wrapping and baking 88 pieces of clay is very time consuming. I mean, look at it. This is our base. And oh, is that a crack? Yes, it is. And also, eraser clay has a hard time adhering to eraser clay that's already baked. So it is quite a challenge. I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. It's We're still in the beginner phase, but I think it is time to start wrapping this up. And after three days of this being left on my desk, it's not exactly the softest because, I mean, it dried up a bit. So what I do is I put it in the oven for about a minute and it gets really soft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let's, let's build that final layer of pickle. The dino eraser. Eventually. Here it is, actually two minutes in the oven. Look how buttery smooth this is. I'm barely putting any kind of pressure. So that's going to make smoothing this out pretty, pretty nice. I say so myself. And so here we go, blocking out the shapes. I am absolutely in love with the fact that this clay gets so melty when it's warm. That way it makes smoothing a lot easier. We haven't gotten to the smoothing part yet, but we're just blocking where we want the, th the pieces to go. I know it looks all goopy and gross. It's basically a Slimosaurus Rex. It's a Slimosaur. Pickle slime. A slimed pickle. It's all melty and gross. And now I almost forgot that pickle does have a tail. So I went ahead and made one, but now... I went ahead and put the tail on, however, I realized that it is way too big for Pickle. Pickle doesn't have a long crocodile tail, he has a little stubby one, so you are gonna remove that and replace it with a proper little one. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this in the oven for just two minutes, enough so that we can smooth it even more butter-like. And then the remainder of the 40 minutes, I'm smoothing and smoothing and smoothing! If anyone would have told me that I would have spent 40 minutes basically giving myself second degree burn, just to smooth out an eraser, I would have said, you're probably right eventually. <laughs> and here we are so far. I know it's a little lumpy bumpy, but there's really nothing else I can do because if I try to smooth it out more, sometimes the clay, because it's an eraser clay, it wants to separate and it starts tearing in weird places. So I think as smooth as it kind of looks like fondant, looks like a cake. But I think this is a really good shape. We got all the pieces to look like one piece, albeit a little lumpy, but we're gonna start adding the details. And the first detail I really wanted to add is the mane, well, the, the spikies, both in the back and then the little hands. And then we're going to take our black clay and make the eyes and nostrils. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add the signature pickle little the, the thing dots. That's it's what I'm trying to say. Why did words leave my mouth in such a weird way? I don't know. But basically, here they all are. So we have these spots on the actual spikes and near the butt tail. Near the butt tail. Holy carp! <laughs> So here is our pickle, the dinosaur mega eraser. I know it doesn't look like much, but it is huge. Not only is it huge, it's heavy. And I have to admit, I am a little disappointed because I do have a little bit of leftover from all 88 blocks of clay. But I have to say, this is a lot less leftover than I thought I would have. So I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to shove this little guy in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. But let's hope nothing breaks. You know what that means? Time to pray to the baking gods. We put our hand together. Dear baking gods of evermore, please protect my piece from cracks, burns, and also... Stop breaking my stuff! Much, much, much later. And so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa that shook everything. <laughs> We are on day four. My hands, I kid you grains not, I am having a hard time with this. The pain is here, probably from the roller, constantly doing this 88 times. This project is a project of pain and passion. Two Ps. It's a project of pee pee. <laughs> But here is our pickle eraser, holy carp. This is, I know it's a little lumpy bumpy, but because this is a rubber, if I had stretched it more, it would have torn. I am really surprised that other than the lumps and bumps, we don't have any tears, we don't have any cracks, we don't have any fallen limbs. Yes, the tail is still there, the little spikies 
are still there. I mean, they're not coming off, so that's a good thing. They're really solid. I did a good job. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead, I, every time I move this, it's just, everything is shaking. Oh. Okay, we need, we need this to stop. All right, so let's go ahead and try and erase stuff with this. But first, I want to surprise Pat. I don't know what's the biggest eraser he's ever seen. So even though Pat's actually been helping me knead and roll and all that stuff, he has not seen me put this entire masterpiece together. So let's see what he thinks. Let me put it under the desk. Pat! Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, me and the greens have a question for you. Yes. What's the biggest eraser you've seen? Uh, something yay big. It's the fun ones in the classroom. You're How about some. this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's this thing. <laughs> it's monstrous. Right? Is it heavy? Seriously, it weighs probably four pounds. If not six. Yeah. It's, it's huge. It's heavy. I used 88 blocks. You know what, you, what you've been well, helping me basically with? Yeah, my hands still hurt, by the way. My hands hurt so much. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Would you recommend anyone do this? No, especially... No. No, it was unpleasant. Very unpleasant. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to try it out now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Bigger than my face. Yeah, my face is already big. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Alright, get out of here! Get, get out of here! <laughs> That'll teach me to invite him. Now for the important question is how the heck do we erase with this? Do we just kind of write something and do this? Or do we use the butt? You know, let's try the butt. <laughs> so it is only fitting to use Mariah Elizabeth's sticky notes and let's write salty beans, like so. And let's go ahead and use the butt. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm sorry, Pickle. I think it's working. It's really hard to use this big thing. Okay, let's try this again. I'm sorry, Pickle. I'm sorry, Pickle. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's working. Precision is very hard, but yes, it does work. Oh, my arms. Oh, that was... You're erasing, like, as though you're, you know, pressing weightlifting. <laughs> oh, my arm. This is... All right, let me go pick up the scale and the scale is on and we are almost one and a half kilos So I think Pat was right. It's about three ish three three pounds and some change right here for you grains Amerigrain who like pounds instead of kilos. So yeah, I feel like I could definitely go back to my past and remove some memories. <laughs> I'd be like now my next question is, can we erase with just rubbing it onto Pickle himself? So let's let's try the cheek <laughs> or, the, or the snout. Holy carp, like every time I move this thing, everything is just shaking. Okay, let's, let's try your face. Okay, Pickle, you ready? Obviously not. You are using me and this is, this is not okay. Pickle, you are literally an eraser. Serve your eraser purpose. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and rub on... Oh my gosh, everything is shaking. And like this, does it work? Yeah! Precision is really hard with something so big. Oh my hands. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you can be precise, it works that way too. Hey, Pickle. Yes, nerdy? I have a note for you. What is it? <clears throat> so, I just wanted to show you this note over here. I don't really mean it. I love it, Pickle, but let's just pretend he doesn't see it. And I wanted just to show it to you, okay? You ready? Yeah. Here. Why would you write something like that? I've only been ever nice to you, and I'm gonna tell Mariah on you, and you know what? I don't wanna see this. I'm going to erase it. There, I'm just gonna erase it with my little paw, because this makes no sense whatsoever. There. We don't say things like that here. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Let me know what you think. Did I do okay? I will never, ever recommend this again. I mean, even Pat, what did he say? No. It was unpleasant. Mm, very unpleasant. <laughs> And it did take me four days. That's the longest I've spent on a project, I think. Even my amazing sculpts haven't taken that long. And a huge congratulations to D Sparta and Kay Anderson for winning one of the Gucci bags. I sent you an email, the one that you gave me, and first come will get the first choice. Good luck. You have one week. Otherwise, I will choose new winners. If you want to watch the previous Mariah Elizabeth merch, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch me turn Mariah Elizabeth into a creature of darkness, well, kind of, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.